as the trial ends, each side is trying their best to put their better foot forward especially as they deliver their closing arguments before the jury. Vasquez and Chu did a pretty good job, but Amber's team seemed to struggle a little, and it doesn't even help that they must deliver their arguments after Depp's team finished, because the difference is a world's apart, with Johnny's team laying down claims and backing them with facts while Amber's team speaking about speculations and sounding like they just expect the jury to believe them without much evidence to support it. It's disgusting. But sometimes he would apologize. He'd say, I can't express how sor sorry I am for having stooped so low as to have spewed such vicious untruths for the sole purpose of hurting you. Grievous error, shameful. So he went in these cycles. He went in these cycles. She thought he could change for good. And when it was good, it was really good. But then sometimes things like December 15th came around. So how did Amber's team mess up their closing argument? And will this be enough to make them lose the case? Let's find out by going over their doubtful argument one by one. Okay, first on the list, Amber's lawyer, Mr. Rottenborn claimed that Johnny initiated a smear campaign against Amber Heard, which caused a lot of damage to the actress. However, let me refresh your memory about how Mr. Ron Shell, who was called in by Amber's team, testified that nothing in the negative tweets relating to Amber was connected to Adam Waldman's alleged defamatory statements. That's one, here's more. Rottenborn also mentioned how Johnny will never take responsibility for his actions. Specifically, what Amber's lawyer said is that it's always someone else's fault. This statement alone is already disproved by Ben Chu's closing argument where he reminded the court how Depp is not hiding anything and is owning up to his mistakes. Second of all, I think it's important that we go back to the audio recording they played where Amber was blaming Johnny for not hitting him hard enough and calling him a baby. Well, it's, it's, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, when you fucking have a close You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you talking? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Right. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, you Johnny. Start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. This is clearly victim blaming which Rottenborn accused Johnny of, which was pretty ironic especially if we ponder on the fact that Amber was basically blaming and gaslighting Johnny even though he wasn't punched, that Johnny was okay and that he should man up and stop hiding whenever they have an argument. Amber's lawyer shifted gears and started targeting people who testified for Johnny saying that most of them are either paid by Depp or are too afraid to speak out against him. How about Kate Moss who testified for the first time in a trial to debunk one of Amber's biggest allegations of abuse? Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Ms. Moss, have you ever before today testified in any kind of court proceeding? No, I have never. Why did you decide to testify today? Objection, Your Honor. Of course, we can't forget Jennifer Howell who revealed through her deposition that she isn't receiving any penny from Johnny and that she is the one paying her own expenses so she can tell the truth about Amber and her abusive episodes. Ms. Howell, for this deposition and the testimony you've provided in the UK action? He is not. Oh. Who is? Myself. Soon enough, people also started nitpicking at Rottenborn's statements with most saying he's either speculating or exaggerating. One fan wrote, Rottenborn is trying to say Johnny cut his own finger off after both their hand surgeons testified is not possible due to the crush injury lol. Another criticized their way of thinking saying, by their logic, a person making false accusations should be believed even if there is no proof of what's being accused. Well, how about you? Do you think Amber's lawyer messed up and will this affect the case? Let us know in the comments below.